Hi, this is Juan. This is my buddy Fro here. We're coming to you from Stereo King, the Gresham location. And today on our show, we're going to go over Twan's five favorite movies. Just kidding. We're not going to go over that at all. Damn. We're going to go over dual voice coil and single voice coil woofers. What's the difference? And how to wire in series in parallel. So stay tuned. So what we have here is a JL Audio 10W3 version 3, 2 ohm. We'll look here on the back, and you can see, right here we got the one terminal spades, spring loaded on these guys, on here, and this is how you would easily identify a single voice coil, just the one set of terminals. On the other side, you see there's nothing here at all. These guys typically come in a 2 ohm, 4 ohm, or 8 ohm for most car stereo applications. There are other strange stuff out there, but let's just talk about the normal stuff. So what I have here is a Rockford P2 dual 4 ohm voice coil subwoofer. If you can see here, it has two sets of terminals, one here, one here. Dual voice coil woofers were originally designed to make it simpler for application reasons. Not that it handles more power, not that we needed to have dual voice coil, but to make it simplified for installation is the major reason for dual voice coil. Um, they usually come in dual four or dual two, so you can either do, if you did have a dual four, you could do two ohm or eight ohm. If you had dual two, you could do one ohm or four ohm. Now we're gonna go over some wiring configurations known as series and parallel. So let's take a look at each voice coil independently first. You look at my meter. So I'm bouncing around, but essentially you're right about four ohms. Each one's going to be the same because it's only the one voice coil. Let's try wiring it in parallel and see what we get. All right, so we have this woofer wired in parallel. What parallel means is you wire the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative, which I'll show you in a minute. If you notice, the ohm load is essentially half. It's reading 1.9, 1.9, which is essentially two ohms. So let me pick up the woofer. It's gonna bounce around a little bit because I'm picking it up, but if you notice, I have positive and negative tied to positive and negative, and then these two leads actually go to the meter, but essentially would be your amplifier, and that's what your uh, amp would read, which is half. And just to note that we actually have positive tied to the positive of the other side, not anything else, and negative to the corresponding negative on the other side. Right. And that's how we're going to get that two ohm load, or what's called parallel, um, on an installation. Now if you have two, obviously you'd be down to one ohm. One ohm, most amps don't like that, Rockford's are good with it, but uh, most solutions, most monoblocks are going to want two ohms. This is where a dual two ohm voice coil would come into play. So here's a subwoofer wired in series. Series is the exact opposite of parallel, bringing the impedance up or the ohm load up. Uh, the difference between that is this wire here is wired from the positive on this side to the negative there on this side. And then the other two posts, which are left over, one on each side, goes out to your amplifier. Now if you're only going to run one woofer, a dual 4 ohm works perfect for most mono blocks because you've got 2 ohms. Uh, if for some reason you'd want to use this in a home audio application, uh, 8 ohms is usually the right impedance for home audio and you can get there with this. So if you have any questions about wiring in series or parallel, please feel free to stop by at any of our four locations or give us a holler on the phone. But usually something like this is a lot better in person because it can easily be messed up. Uh, and like us on Facebook, all four locations have their own page. And of course, have a great day. See ya.